Hello everybody, my name is Luis Montoya, and me and my teammate, we're on the affirmative, we're on the affirmative side on the policy to uh, raise the federal minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. Uh, first, we're going we're gonna to argue that the current federal minimum wage is not enough for anybody to survive in this economy. And increasing it will benefit the economy substantially, and it will reduce dependence on social, on social programs such as welfare, social security, etc. Let's start off by uh, defining what the minimum wage is. Uh, the Federal Labor Standards Act, established in '68 and updated in back in 2009. Establishes minimum wage, overtime, record keeping, and youth employment standards affecting employees in the private sector and in federal state. Covered non exempt workers are entitled to a minimum wage of non less of no less than seven twenty five per hour, effective July twenty four, two thousand nine, overtime paying at the rate no less than one hour and a half times the regular rate of pay is required after forty hours of work. In a work week. Um, what else? So, if you work more than 40 hours, you get paid one and a half times what you already make. So it's 7.25 plus whatever. 7.25. Um, what else? The living wage. The the federal minimum wage uh, was established to um, so that people won't get uh, exploited. Uh, before these acts were enacted or established, people were working more than 48, 40 hours. They were working more than five days. And it was just not humanly possible to work those many, those many hours and still have a viable way of living. Uh, it's, it's an American tradition to uh, visit the, the liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And how can you pursue happiness and Execute your, your freedom rights if you don't have the time to do so or if you don't have the money to do so So uh, I'm just gonna go over a little bit about the what the living wage is and how it's like Established or determined the living wage is its basic needs Plus the, the taxes right so basic needs is just the food cost child care costs uh, housing costs transportation costs and other necessity uh, costs. The tax values are applied to the basic needs budget to calculate the living wage. As follows, the living wage is just basic needs plus taxes. Uh, okay, so we're arguing that it's not enough and it should be higher. And uh, according to David Cooper for the Economic Policy Institute, a nonprofit organization that studies uh, economic policies, given the growth in the economy and the improvements in labor productivity over the past 45 years, the minimum wage could have been raised to a point considerably higher than its 1968 in inflation adjusted value. Had the minimum wage had been raised since 1968 at the same rate as growth and productivity, the rate at which the average worker can produce income for her employee from each hour of work it would be nearly 1850 per hour. So we have the, set, the, the minimum wage at 725 currently throughout the country. And this rate hasn't changed since back in 2009. So according to this study, if, if, we had, if the minimum wage was able to keep, keep up with um, productivity, we would be making more money. So we're producing more and still getting paid less. And that's, it's not fair in this equal society that we live in, this American society. Uh, what else? Uh, we have, uh, according to the, the, the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, we have 1.3 million that earn exactly the prevailing federal minimum wage of 725 per hour. About 1.7 million had wages below the federal minimum wage. 
Together, these three million workers with wages at or below the federal minimum wage made up, uh, made up about 3.9% of all hourly paid workers in the country. Another key uh, point that I want to touch is the poverty line. The poverty line, according to the the uh, again the according to David Cooper from the Policy Institute Economic the Economic Policy Institute, the poverty line for families of three is eighteen seven hundred. It's eighteen thousand seven hundred seventy six dollars. So a family of three. Just to be able to get by or survive in this society, needs to make above or at eighteen thousand seven hundred seventy-six dollars. For a family of two, it's sixteen sixteen thousand and seventy-eight dollars. So it's the amount of money that, they're, that the minimum wage employee is making is only fifteen fifteen thousand and eighty dollars. That's like working forty out forty hours every week. So it's not, they're living below the poverty line. And it's not, it's not acceptable. Many of these people need to have more than one job just to survive and provide for the family. Another one of our points is that it will benefit the economy. Uh, back in 2007, before the, before the, okay. Back in 2007, before the, the minimum wage was established at 7.25, um, 600, economy, 600 economists, uh, including seven Nobel Prize winners, wrote a, a letter to the, to the president saying that we needed to increase the, the federal minimum wage because it will benefit the, the economy greatly. Uh, my time is running out, but my partner will touch more on other issues. Thank you very much.